Ford invents cable that can charge electric cars like Tesla and others in about five minutes. This patent pending technology is developed with Purdue University. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here the first time. I have a revolutionary interesting news. Ford and Purdue University are co-developing a charging cable for use with higher power charging stations that could recharge an electric vehicle's battery in the same time as it takes to fill a gas tank, which typically takes about five minutes. Tesla and its supercharging network immediately came to my mind once I learned about this new game-changing technology. Imagine how much will change in our Teslas or our electric vehicles after this. This is especially important considering Tesla is now installing a few special superchargers uh, for its uh, semi-truck, especially in Giga Nevada, that will need faster charging. And charging a Tesla or any electric car in five minutes is truly revolutionary. Today, chargers are limited in how quickly they can charge an electric vehicle's battery due to the danger of overheating. Charging faster requires more current to travel through the charging cable. Michael Degner, senior technical leader for research and advanced engineering said, um, and the higher the current, the greater the amount of heat that has to be removed to keep the cable operational, he said. The most powerful stations currently in use can charge an electric car to about 80% in 20 to 40 minutes and new cable designs will be required to increase the speed as battery and charging network technology improves. We need this to speed up the transition to electric car adoption. A timeline for the rollout of the new cable has not been announced by Ford or by Purdue, but a patent application has already been filed to protect the intellectual property. The cable features a unique liquid cooling system that can phase the liquid into vapor, which improves its ability to dissipate heat. This is how it works. You see, it's very simple. If you can come up with a table that removes the heat, then you have it. Clean Technica says, while this is sweet, don't hold your breath for the new technology, though. Ford states that, quote, this innovation could one day deliver significantly more power than today's leading systems to recharge electric vehicles. And there is a lot of wiggle room in the timeline of one day. When this one day can be, and today's leading uh, technologies are, of course, of Tesla. For also not, uh, Ford also not, notes that the new approach to cable cooling needs to be implemented in tandem with other vehicle charging and other technology enhancements in order to realize the dream of making it just as quick and easy to recharge an EV as it's to fill a gas mobile with gas. Nevertheless, Modwar's solution indicates that the electric vehicle revolution has only just begun. The technology still has ample room for improvement, of course, as one indication of the potential for additional progress, consider the Ford currently holds a stockpile of more than 2,500 patents in the U.S. for electrification, the oldest of which um, date back to its earliest history, which makes sense considering that Henry Ford worked for Thomas Edison before working full-time in the auto industry. Now, when I'm reporting this news, one thing that comes to mind, uh, maybe Tesla is also no, uh, maybe Tesla also knows these things, and maybe Tesla also is thinking on coming up with a new cable. I wonder if there is any information about that. Imagine working on a cable that on one part it charges your uh, Tesla, on the other part, on the other hand, it a special liquid cooling system removes the heat from the cable so the cable can have the current moving to your car. This is very interesting and revolutionary. Friends, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this report interesting, please give us thumbs up, like this video, and also share in social media. We would greatly appreciate it. Follow us on social media and visit us at torquenews.com. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. I look forward to your comments and let's move on to the next story. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. There is a breaking news coming from Toyota and its electrification efforts or actually the vice versa. Toyota forms Team Japan 
to help keep combustion engine alive now toyota has assembled a team consisting of themselves and four other japanese marks in an effort to keep ice internal combustion engine vehicles relevant welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com toyota's continued resistance to battery electric vehicles is becoming more and more prevalent notes ben o'hare in inside evs reporting from the automotive news that just days after refusing to sign a climate pledge aiming to phase out fossil fuel vehicles by 2040 toyota has organized a team to promote the combustion engine in the electric age team japan consists of toyota subaru mazda kawasaki and yamaha the group will work together on the development of greener fueling options as well as hydrogen technology friends i don't know what to make of this the coalition will see the five companies develop carbon neutral fuels for racing meanwhile toyota and mazda will together develop a 1.5 liter sky active d engine powered by biodiesel subaru will work with toyota for 2022's super taikyu series endurance season with both companies collaborating to make a biomass derived synthetic fuel furthermore yamaha and kawasaki are considering working on a hydrogen engine for motorcycles so is this making you upset and a little bit angry i agree with you makes me too because in this age of electrification when everyone is moving to building electric vehicles toyota seems to be going in the wrong decision uh, wrong direction right toyota clearly believes other solutions such as hydrogen will play their part in a sustainable future an idea tesla ceo elon musk has labeled mind boggling stupid in the past despite all this toyota still intends to compete in the battery electric vehicle space through the busy forex crossover which will arrive in 2022 so what do you think is toyota making great choice good choice bad choice i don't think they're making good choice right now but they have a reason in believing in what they believe perhaps although only time will tell if the proposed alternatives are viable solutions for vehicles toyota has seen limiting su limited success with the hydrogen powered mirai with a lack of infrastructure and high running cost being key obstacles for consumers so um I, I don't know. The, in, in fact, the ICE is going to be around for at least uh, the 20 more years, I guess. Toyota knows this. Making smaller, more powerful and efficient engines for hybrids and plug-in um, plug-in uh, plug hybrid electric vehicles. Toyota is already king of hybrids and plug uh, PHEVs, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Robert Osfield comments on their Inside EVs Twitter and says, I've been tracking UK new car registrations, both petrol and diesel have seen massive drops in sales even adding in mild hybrids doesn't help to overall trends this isn't what a flourishing market looks like this is what a uh, what a market transition rather looks like i, I don't know friends uh, this is how you get people against you turning against you i mean why don't they invest uh, that time and energy that toyota has into transitioning to sustainable transportation like many other wise companies are doing but like i said only time will show whether toyota is right in this decision what are your thoughts uh, what do you think so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you find any reasoning in toyotas i do but very little because they believe in having different options and different alternatives for driving but i think time may change their decision because as time goes on and toyota sees great sales coming from electrics and new technologies come forward toyota may simply abandon this effort that i just am reporting today team toyota team japan uh, for electric uh, for um, uh, supporting hydrip uh, to keeping combustion engine alive team japan but and may they may turn to into electrification but it depends on their electric vehicle sales and let's see how things go this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage god bless you everyone and let's move to our next ev story